So here I am in the preschool, yes, and in the reading center in the throne room. And I am ready to read this great book about um, a little caterpillar. The book is called The Caterpillar in the Polywog by Jack Kent. And this is the cover and it's very, very cute. See, this is the caterpillar and this is the polywog. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses, and you and I get older and we get bigger, especially hippopotamus, they get bigger, but not caterpillars. Hmm. Here's a caterpillar. Caterpillars turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. Hmm. Can you turn into something? Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I am going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. And she went away. When I grow up, I am going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle who didn't much like wiggle the things. When I grow up, I am going to turn into something else, she told the polywog. What fun, said the polywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way looking for something else to someone else to tell her secret to. Oh, I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the polywog. You will, said the fish. All polywogs do. What I'm going to turn into, the polywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and it was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the polywog again, I am going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised, she almost fell on the pond, into the pond. Yeah, the fish said so, the polywog told her. You know, fish know things, they go to school. They do. The caterpillar was upset. Hmm, I thought only caterpillars turned could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The polywog asked. Well, the caterpillar said, I am going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the polywog said very happily. What fun! Let's do it together. Is the polywog going to turn into a butterfly? Hmm. Let's see. All right, the caterpillar agreed. Although she would rather have it alone, but 
I'll get to do it first, she said. The polywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. Okay, I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. Ah, this is the tricky part, she said. The polywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered, means it was not inside. Now, I have to close the lid, she said. And when I come out, I will be a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Go ahead, the polywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. She was all inside the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened. But the, po the polywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. And look what is happening to him. Wow. What is this? For days and days, the polywog was watching his friend in the cocoon. At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened it, and very slowly the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly with some red spots. <sighs> Look at The polywog was so excited. He hopped up and down with delight. Hop, hop, hop. He hopped up and down like a, a frog. <gasps> oh, I was so busy watching you he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. You are a very handsome frog, the butterfly said, as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. Oh. Well, a caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I am going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. And he was happy to be a frog. The end. I hope you like it.